Hey guys, this is a Jaeger task guide for the Survivalist Path Eagle Owl. For this task, you have to eliminate six scavs in the time period between 21 and 0400 without the use of any MVGs or thermal sites and on any map except for factory. So the task does specify that you cannot use MVGs for any of the kills to count towards this task. However, you can actually use MVGs to maneuver around the map if you want. But if you do see a scav, you have to make sure that you remove them from your helmet completely. And by completely, I mean that you cannot just lift the MVGs or turn them off by pressing N. The actual goggles and the brace, depending upon which MVGs that you're using, have to be off of the helmet and either on the ground or into your backpack for the kills to count. Or another thing that you can do is remove the entire helmet into your backpack because if you don't remove the entire MVGs or remove the helmet with the MVGs on it, then the kills will not count towards your task. You can also use any gun that you want as long as it's not a thermal sight, so you can use as many flashlights as you want to compensate for the lack of night vision, and you can also run any other gear that you want as long as the MVGs are not equipped for the kill shot. Honestly, when I do this task, some advice that I have for you guys is that I don't even bother bringing in MVGs at all because I don't want to risk taking the time to disable them and then give the scavs more time to head eyes me so i will typically just run a flashlight or two and sometimes it's so bright outside that you don't even need mvgs anyway i have two maps that i recommend running for this task the first one being custom since most people know it the best and so it would be easier for you guys to maneuver around the map even if it is dark and you know where the scavs tend to spawn and also where to look for them or an easier method and the one that i actually do is to run interchange for this task because you will actually be inside of the mall which will be lit up more than a nighttime raid on any other map and and you definitely won't need MVGs at all inside for it. I would recommend to make sure that you do have a flashlight and laser combo on your gun so that you can turn it on in the really dark corners of the mall. And if you do decide to go interchange, then the best places to check for scavs are going to be the front of Ollie, Goshen, and Idea by the cash registers, and then also at the center of the mall by the escalators, which are near Mantis and Brutal, and then also down the hallway from Brutal to the hole that's in the floor by Generic. These are basically the busiest spots for scavs, and there is actually a group of boxes behind the hole in the floor that I will show you guys where you can jump up and then peek down to the center of the mall and the scavs typically won't see or shoot at you when you are standing there. So hopefully this guide helped to clear up any questions that you may have had for this task as well as give you an idea or two on how to go about finishing it up. And if you made it this far in the video then thank you so much for sticking around and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or cord in the chat in order to get an invite link. And if you don't use Twitch, then I do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description. And we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels. So there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have. As always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.